Nuclear pasta If it does exist, nuclear pasta is the strongest material in the entire universe. Formed from the leftovers of extinguished stars, this substance gets squeezed into spaghetti-like tangles of material. It can break, but only if you apply 10 billion times the pressure needed to shatter steel. A planet where it rains glass Bright blue exoplanet HD 189733b looks peaceful and slightly familiar, but this pretty appearance hides the planet's terrifying nature. There, the winds blow at 5,400 miles per hour, seven times the speed of sound. But that's not the worst. Here it is. It rains glass, sideways, in this scorching alien world. Better duck! The Black Widow Pulsar Just like its spider namesake, this rotating neutron star is munching on its partner, a lightweight brown dwarf star. Pulsar J1311-3430 is infamous for slowly blasting its companion. The more material the pulsar consumes, the more slowly it spins. The energy the neutron star is losing in the process causes the companion star to dwindle. An ice planet that's burning! Far away Neptune-sized exoplanet Glessy 436b is a paradox. It's made of scorching hot ice. The planet completes one full orbit around the red dwarf Gliese 436 in just two days. It means it's traveling remarkably close to its parent star. That might be the reason why the planet's temperatures rarely drop below 800 degrees. But the strangest thing? The planet hosts huge volumes of water ice known as Ice X. Is that like SpaceX? Which remains solid despite blistering temperatures. A ringed dwarf planet Haumea, a dwarf planet orbiting in the Kuiper belt, has a bizarre elongated shape and two moons. The day on this planet lasts four hours, making it the fastest spinning big object in our solar system. But the most mysterious thing about Haumea is that the planet has a thin 40-mile-wide ring circling it. A stellar nursery in Centaurus This place might be called Nursery but it's anything but peaceful or safe. This nursery, made up of hydrogen and newborn stars, is located in a nebula in the constellation of Centaurus around 6,500 light-years from Earth. The intense energy these baby stars emit makes hydrogen clouds glow ominous red. This energy is so powerful that it's eating away dark clouds of dust. They're disappearing like lumps of butter on a hot frying pan. Okay, I'll stop. A diamond planet About 4,000 light-years away from Earth, there's a planet that seems to be one enormous diamond. The planet is denser than any other discovered so far and consists mostly of carbon. It's so dense that astronomers think this carbon might be crystalline, meaning that at least some part of the planet is diamond. Infrared stream from space Neutron stars are ultra-dense, collapsed cores of giant stars. They usually emit X-rays or radio waves. But in 2018, astronomers discovered a weird stream of infrared light. It seemed to be coming from a neutron star 800 light-years away from our planet. The signal was probably generated by a disk of dust surrounding the star. But this theory hasn't been proven yet. Great Red Spot on Jupiter a vast, churning red hurricane twice the size of our planet hasn't calmed down on Jupiter for at least a century and a half. Winds are rather calm at the storm center, but on its edges, they travel at a speed of 270 to 420 miles per hour. It's more than twice faster than the most powerful hurricanes on Earth. Hey, Saturn windsurfing anyone? The Eye of Sauron The 18th brightest star in the night sky Fomalhaut is a terrifying sight. It's dubbed the Eye of Sauron because a ring of dust and debris circling it makes it look like a giant eye staring into your soul. Ooh. The intimidating star is more than twice the mass of our Sun and is 25 light years away from Earth, which isn't that far away considering distances in space. Oh, wait, is that Gollum over there? Heh, <laughs> made you look. Butterfly Nebula. This butterfly's wingspan is more than three light-years. 
and the structure inside the nebula is one of the most complicated ever observed. The nebula's central star, a white dwarf, is heated to an incredible 450,000 degrees. It means it was formed from a gargantuan star, likely more than five times the size of our Sun. The white dwarf is surrounded by a thick disk of dust and gas at the equator. That's what probably makes the whole structure look like an hourglass, or a butterfly. Eskimo Nebula Discovered more than 200 years ago, this nebula got its name for a reason. Its double-shell formation looks like a person's face hidden in a padded hood of a winter jacket. The star at the center of Eskimo Nebula is not unlike our sun, and the bizarre orange streaks in the outer part of the cloud stretch light years away in all directions. The Pillars of Creation More than 7,000 light years away from Earth, there is the Eagle Nebula, a young cluster of stars just 5.5 million years old. The Hubble Space Telescope managed to take an image of several dark silhouettes near the nebula's center. Those are the so-called Pillars of Creation, an active star-forming region. A Living Fossil Galaxy DG Sat 1 Galaxy is as big as the Milky Way, but it's nearly invisible because its stars are spread out incredibly thinly. But what makes the galaxy so unique is that it's sitting all alone, unlike other galaxies of this kind, which are usually found in clusters. It can mean that DG Sat 1 was formed in a different era, probably a mere 1 billion years after the Big Bang. If it's true, the galaxy is a real living fossil. The Ring Nebula At first sight, a giant cloud of dust and gas around an old, almost extinguished star does look like a ring. The deep space colorful object, 2,300 light years away from Earth, is actually a ring that wraps around a blue ball-shaped structure. Each end of the structure sticks out of the ring's opposite sides. Water in space A cloud of water vapor is floating in space, surrounding a supermassive black hole 12 billion light years away from Earth. The cloud contains 140 trillion times the entire volume of water on our planet. Astronomers believe this water cloud appeared just 1.6 billion years later than the universe itself. Um, I wasn't around then, so you'll just have to trust me. <laughs>